killed, but did not confirm if he backs the plan. St. Vincent's Medical Center grossly exaggerated its debt while its executives and consultants blew through millions. That according to papers set to be filed Monday at Manhattan Supreme Court. The claims include $278,000 for a golf outing, paying its top 10 executives a combined $10 million a year, $17 million for management consultants and nearly $4 million on professional fundraising. The petition also says the hospital's federal tax returns claim St. Vincent spent $104 million on unspecified costs listed as other. The lawyers filing the claim say they hope the suit will force the health department to release documents that will explain what went wrong. We estimate the amount of public money that we can track at this point that was going to this hospital at approximately $700 million. The public deserves better than to hear a hospital was quote unquote bankrupt under a crushing $1 billion debt when it seems they had substantial public monies coming in and that the hospital was mismanaged. The lawyers also claim the billion-dollar debt was exaggerated in part by hundreds of millions of dollars in loans dumped on St. Vincent's by other medical entities run by the Archdiocese. But a spokesman for the Archdiocese of New York says St. Vincent's has always been an institution of the Sisters of Charity and not the Archdiocese. St. Vincent's closed last April, citing $1 billion in debt. Well, no-fault divorce is now...